Intermittent fasting is one of the fastest, easiest, and healthiest ways to lose weight and improve your health. Forget the complex fad diets and click the link below for our fasting system to see results yourself. But for now, today's video. The question, how do you keep up your energy while fasting? I started answering this question assuming that you were talking about doing something called if intermittent fasting. There are many ways to do this but the most common is to fast for 16 to 20 hours every day and eat all of your calories in the non-fasting window of 4 to 8 hours. There are many benefits to this explain elsewhere. But then I noticed that the question has a Lent tag on it which could mean that you are asking about when you fast for Lent? The answer is different in each case. For Lent I could not find the rules exactly as they seem to vary by area but it looks like there are only a couple of days per year where you would have to go without food for any significant length of time, like a whole day. Whereas the rest of the time it is just a restriction on the kinds of foods you can eat on certain days? If that is the case, there is not a lot you can do for the abstaining days other than stay hydrated. Our bodies are perfectly capable of going long periods of time, weeks even if necessary, without food and without much fatigue however, most of us would not be able to transition to being able to do that on a dime. Because we are used to eating several times a day with snacks, our bodies have become sugar burners and are not very good at burning fat. We lack a sufficient quantity of fat burning enzymes and have an abundance of sugar burning enzymes. Many of us in the Western world have also become insulin resistant to varying degrees due to the constant feeding and so when we stop eating for a while, fast, our insulin remains high even after no food is left in our blood. And because we can't access our storage, fat or carbs, we get an energy crash. Intermittent fasting will cure all of this over time but it could take months depending on where you are starting. It will provide extended time every day where your body gets a break from insulin reversing the insulin resistance and forcing your body to use its fat for energy. Over this time, your fat burning enzymes will ramp up to make you into a fat burner instead of a sugar burner. When this happens, you will not be fatigued on a fast. In fact you will have more energy than ever because you have full access to all of your storage at all times. But like I said, this takes time. Weeks of doing if at minimum but it could take months depending on the condition you're starting from. You can't jump into a full day fast all of a sudden after not doing any fasting for a year and expect to feel great. There is a withdrawal period from not getting the sugar you are used to as well as the difficulty in accessing energy I talked about above. So yes, the other answers are technically correct that you should be burning fat and ketones etc in a fast. But it is not exactly that simple when you transition from many meals a day to zero cold turkey. For more answers, or a full guideline on fasting, check out the links in the description below.